you join me here today on the Oxford Canal at Rugby over there where you can see those orange boys that is the route of the original canal here at Rugby we're going to take a walk up on the new parts of the canal I say new this is built in the late 1820s that's quite interesting we're going to go over a couple of aqueducts on quite a high embankment here so let's go and take a look and see what it has to offer us The first aqueduct we come to is here, which goes over the river. This is the River Swift. The River Swift is also a feeder to the Oxford Canal. Where we saw at the beginning of this film, which was part of the old original route, that actually joins up with the River Swift further upstream and is now a feeder down to the Oxford Canal. We will go and see in a moment if we can climb down. Somebody with a leaf blower going in the background. There may not be much boat traffic around at the moment but we're quite fortunate. Here's a boat coming along just about to go over the aqueduct. Uh, narrowboat Kendra, sorry, narrowboat Kenda, just gone over the aqueducts. Well, I was going to climb down these steps and show you down at river level. But for some reason, nowadays. They've been blocked off. I guess I won't be going that way. These aqueducts are actually quite close together here. Here's the aqueduct we've just been looking at. We turn around and there is the next aqueduct just in the distance there. It's not very far actually. The camera's making it look a lot further away than it actually is. It's less than 100 yards. So let's go and take a look. Well here we are, approaching the next aqueduct, this is number 54. So here we are then, the aqueduct, or bridge number 54, the aqueducts and the bridges have consecutive numbers and this is the old Leicester Road the new one is down near a rugby today this one we can get down so we'll go down in a moment and take a look from below so this is our second aqueduct of the day this is the only two we're going to actually take a look at today there are some more but they're in the opposite direction and it's going to rain, so I think it's time to get back to the boat very soon. But before we do go, I'm going to show you a little bit more about this aqueduct. Fortunately, this one, we can go down. Look, the steps are open, even if they are a little precarious. And we're trying stay out the puddle at the bottom of the steps so here we have this quite magnificent structure for this aqueduct from the balustrade up the top you'd think it was all stone built 
But when you come down beneath it, you realise that it's all brick built underneath here with a cast iron trough by the looks. Absolutely fantastic looking look. It's renovated by British Waterways in 1991, the Oxford Canal. And that rain's just starting. Quite a magnificent structure, isn't it? I'd imagine the river one we passed slightly earlier is very similar in the way it's been built. And I do find this is quite magnificent. My boat's been across the top of this on quite a few occasions. This is the first time I've actually walked down underneath it. And as I say, this was originally Leicester Road. And we're quite similar from this side. Just one magnificent structure. This was built around 1827 to 1829. If my memory serves me correctly, that is. Quite a beautiful structure. I really like these. I love the cast iron arches. Fortunately, it was restored by British Waterways. So let's go back on up to the canal and we'll go and see where the canal actually used to run. Again, from the part where we saw at the beginning of this film, where it disappeared. It did like a two mile loop to come back to here. I'm missing this rather horrible puddle again. And let's go back up the steps. I'm getting old. These steps are getting tiring. And we can walk to Coventry, of course. Then the Oxford Canal. So the Coventry Canal at Hawkesbury Junction and take a left. It'll take a while. As we've just come up from the aqueduct, underneath the aqueduct, we can see that bridge in the distance. That's where the canal used to go. So here we are, we're back up at that bridge I was talking about a few moments ago. You can go down there to the wharf by boat for supplies, but it's not open to foot passengers, foot traffic. It's all gated off, it's all private mooring. We can see here the beautiful bridge. This is where the canal came through. Where we've just walked is the newer section. This is one of the original canal bridges. We'll take a walk up over here now. I'm guessing by the width of this, this was originally a cart bridge. Now it's starting to rain quite heavily. And what is a winding hole here now? That's where the canal used to come in and go through the bridge. That section up there is also all new. That we can do in another day perhaps. It's raining hard now, but it's time to get back to the boat. So as I walk back towards the boat, I want to thank all of my Patreons and all my PayPal supporters. Your help and your generosity really helps me bring this channel together. Everybody that watches my videos help towards the survival of my channel. As you know, it is monetized, which helps keep this channel going. 
I do like coming out on these little walks, taking you with me. And let's see how many more we can do together. Well, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the old bell icon too. That way YouTube will notify you every time I upload new, a new video. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.